welcome to another episode of American Odyssey. I'm your host, Rose Hong. Today I'm in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and we'll take you to a very special concert performed by Medical Music Group. Its mission is to perform music with a message of peace, hope, healing, and friendship around the world. In the past 20 plus years, Medical Music Group has performed at finest concert halls and opera houses, both in the U.S. and around the world. So please follow me and enjoy today's concert dedicated to our nation's veterans. He's the multi-award winning star of stage and screen. You know him from such hits as uh, the five-time Academy Award winning movie, The French Connection, and The Seven Ups, and many, 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 many more. Tonight he's going to perform his Emmy Award winning poem, Just a Common Soldier. He's a real American and a true patriot. Please give a warm welcome to my dear, dear friend, Mr. Tony Lobianco. sat around the Legion telling stories of the past, of a war that he had fought in, and the deeds that he had done, and his exploits with his buddies. They were heroes, every one. And though sometimes to his neighbors his tales became a joke, all his Legion buddies listened. They knew whereof he spoke. But we'll hear his tales no longer, for old Bill has passed away, and the world's a little poorer for a soldier died today. He will not be mourned by many, just as children and his wife. But he lived an ordinary and quite uneventful life. He held a job, raised a family, quiet. 
quietly going his own way. And the world won't note his passing. Though a soldier died today. When politicians leave this earth, their bodies lie in state. While thousands note their passing and proclaim that they were great. Papists tell their whole life stories from the time that they were young. But the passing of a soldier goes unnoticed and unsung. Is the greatest contribution to the welfare of our land a guy who breaks his promise and cons his fellow man? Or the ordinary fellow who in times of war and strife goes off to serve his country and offers up his life? A politician's stipend and the style in which he lives are sometimes disproportionate to the service that he gives. While the ordinary soldier who has offered up his all is paid off with a medal and perhaps a pension, small. It's so easy to forget them. For it was so long ago that the old bills of our country went to battle. But we know it was not the politicians with their compromises and ploys who won for us the freedom that our country now enjoys. Now should you find yourself in danger with your enemies at hand, would you want a politician with his ever sh shifting stand? Or would you prefer a soldier who has sworn to defend his home, his kin and country, and would fight until the end? Yes, he was just a common soldier. And his ranks are growing thin. But his presence should remind us we may need his like again. For when countries are in mourning and in conflict, then we find the soldier's part is to clean up all the trouble that the politicians start. If we cannot do him honor while he's here to hear the praise, then at least Let's give him homage at the ending of his days. Perhaps just a simple headline in a paper that would say, Our country is in mourning for a soldier died today. Welcome to Washington, Tony. How are you? I'm great, Rose. Thank you very much. Great to be here. 
Well, thank you so much to be part of the Medical Music Group's performance today to perform for our nation's veterans. No, there's nothing like our veterans. The best people in the world, we owe them so much, it's almost impossible to say how much, but uh, thank God for them and, and uh, thank God for their bravery and volunteering to uh, keep us all free. Well, Tony, you have appeared in over a hundred TV, movie, theater projects. So let me ask you this, which one is the most memorable one that you like the most? Well, the most memorable one, obviously, is the French Connection, which won five Academy Awards. Oh, Chenier, you got to be reasonable. It's your problem. Well, it's your problem, too. Uh, but then there's a soft spot in my heart for my first film, which is The Honeymoon Killers, which is a true story, as was The French Connection. Uh, and it was Seven Ups as well. I seem to like a lot of true stories. Uh, but uh, French Connection, having won the five Academy Awards, and, and such a, a, a wonderful experience with such good friends, uh, and that's always so damn important because, you know, it's nothing like working with, with good people. And just like the, uh, the medical uh, foundation here, you know, to working with these wonderful people who devote so much of their time and energy to raise money for... Uh, helping people like yourself. Well, I know you have won so many humanitarian awards uh, for doing charity work. So among all the charity work that you have done, do you have any group or any cause that you feel passionate about? Well, I feel passionate about every charity that I work for uh, and do and do for, for uh, uh, raise, the, raise funds for them. and. And uh, that, that's just, uh, I, I, can't, I, I couldn't possibly pick out one. Well, Tony, I remember in 1963, you funded Triangle Theater. Ah. And as a New Yorker, so what is the impact of Triangle Theater uh, to the theater and also to actors and actresses? Well, this was a, a really wonderful experience because it was, it was something we, we did as young people. And I always encourage young people to do things now. I don't mean without responsibility. I mean with responsibility. But, uh, you know, in this business, uh, this theatrical business, if you wait to be hired, you're going to wait a very long time. So you really have to uh, do it yourself, be innovative. And we did that, and we discovered wonderful people. We had Roy Scheider. You know, Roy, who I co-starred with in The French Connection and Seven Ups, and he worked at our theater. And the great Jason Miller. Jason Miller wrote uh, that championship season, Bullets Prize winner. And uh, they all started at our theater. And Mario Fratti, who did the play Nine on Broadway. Uh, these are uh, Jules Fisher, great lighting designer, was at our theater and worked with us tremendously. So it's, it's a creative place and has given birth to a lot of people and a lot of playwrights and a lot of wonderful communication with the audience because our audience was made up of the neighborhood and they were all part of our theater. They were welcomed in. Uh, we had a board of directors. And mind you, this was all for free. You can come and see these plays and wonder, these wonderful artists for free. And we just did it by donations. And it was a very wonderful community project because we did it at a church, Church of the uh, Holy Trinity, uh, and that's where the triangle comes from, and the, uh, uh, we borrowed $5,000 from the church to do three plays, build a theater, lighting and everything, and then paid them back by donations of the people who came to see the show. So it was, it was just a, uh, a feeling of, of giving and a feeling of getting from, from the audience, a, a feeling of community and togetherness. And, and uh, we also uh, had art in the back of the theater. We had these artists, brand new artists, and we had their artwork in the back. We had even some living artists. When I say living artists, I mean they were part of their artwork. And it was interesting because we, we were way ahead of our time, way ahead of our time. And uh, it was just a, a, a marvelous creative feeling that we just kept doing. We were young. We were in our 20s, uh, you know, when we did all this. So I encourage the young people to get out there and, and do something, not just in the theater, but in life and have some respect. Uh, you know, what's happening in our country now, we lost respect. We lost respect for authority, lost respect 
for our country, our government, and uh, and the uh, the way that we're heading is uh, not uh, going up. Where we te- we tend to be uh, heading downward in our in our way of life, and I'm really disappointed in that. And I just hope that uh, people can be, be get inspired and and uh, uh, go back to the ways that we used to have. Uh, in, in our country and understand what America is all about. And it's not by following fads and doing things that are destructive and doing things, you know, there's a, there's a Nike commercial that says, just do it. I say, don't, just do it. Do it with responsibility, doing it with looking ahead of what's going to happen when you do it. And that's to me very important. And have respect for our authority as well and our military. Well, that will lead to my next question. What is your future plan, and what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? Well, that's a big question, of course. Uh, future plans. Well, I do a one-man show on Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia, one of the great mayors of New York City. Not only of New York, he was the mayor of our country, basically, because when he was mayor, that's, that was his job, basically. And he was a pure example of honesty. And I, I de- deal with this play, take it around. I've, I've taken this play around the world. I've done, I did it in Russia. And uh, I did it in, in uh, Italy. I've, did, uh, I've been invited to go to Cairo. And you play and, the mayor. And I play the mayor. And it's, it's the kind of message that I believe in from my heart in uh, doing it for our country, for our people, and for the peace and wonderfulness of our world. So that's what the legacy I would like to leave, you know. You, when you do good things, that's what you're remembered for. Well, Tony, definitely you'll be remembered not only for over a hundred projects that you have done, but for your charity work Thank and you. especially your work with our nation's veterans. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. God bless. And I must say, if you want to see something that I really care about, talk, talking about our veterans, go to YouTube, justacommonsoldier.com. This video that I did, only two years now, it's been show, it's been on the air. 22 million views. I ask you to go see that. We won two Emmys also. Justacommonsoldier.com on YouTube. That's something I'm really proud of and something that you should see. God bless you. God bless. Thank you so much. And God bless America. God bless America. Here are Major General Irene Crowell Harris, U.S. Air Force retired, and Captain Leslie Mose, U.S. Army. And a special, special treat is Colonel Bob Shaw, U.S. Military Air Force in World War II. He is with us this evening. Please, please give him a hand.
Thank you for watching today's program. I hope you enjoyed today's concert as much as I did. If you're a veteran or if you know a veteran, please share this program with them and thank them for their service to our nation. I will see you next week on the same channel at the same time. Bye-bye.